students today we are going to do exercise 4.3 question number 7 the difference of squares of two numbers is 180 the square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number find the two numbers so let the larger number be x and smaller number be y Now, this square of the smaller number, which is y, its square is 8 times the larger number, means 8 multiplied by the bigger number, which is x. The difference of square of two numbers is 180. So, x square minus y square is given as 180. In place of y square, we are going to use 8x. So, we can write x square minus 8x minus 180 is equal to 0. In this case, we are going to look for factors of 180 which should be able to split the middle term as minus 8. But there are two factors which we plus minus karke hame minus 8. Mile. So I can do x square minus 18x plus 10x minus 180 is equal to 0. Taking x common from the first two terms, x into x minus 18 plus 10 into x minus 18 is equal to 0. So I can have x plus 10 and x minus 18 is equal to 0. So either x plus 10 is equal to 0 which means x is equal to minus 10 or x is equal to 18. So in this case, we can discard the negative number. If we take x is equal to 18, then my y square is equal to 8 into x, which is 8 into 18. That will come as 144. Or y is equal to square root of 144, which is plus minus 12. Question number 8. A train travels 360 km at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 km per hour more, it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey. Find the speed of the train. So let the speed of train be x. Now we already know that speed is equal to distance by time. Or time can be written as distance by speed. Now, in this case, the distance given is 360 km. So, when the speed of train is x, then we can write time is equal to distance by speed, which is 360 by x. Now, if the speed had been 5 km per hour more, suppose we take this as t1, and now we increase the speed by 5. That is the new speed will now become x plus 5. The distance remaining the same which is 360. Now the new time t2 is equal to distance divided by x plus 5 which is the new speed. Now it is given that when the speed is more then it would have taken 1 hour less for the same, uh, same journey. Basically, the difference of the two times is 1. So, in this case, we can write it as 360 by x minus 360 by x plus 5 is equal to 1. So, in the denominator, we have x into x plus 5 cross multiplying. 360 will multiply with this x plus 5 minus 360 will multiply with x. This is equal to 1. Or we can say 360x plus 360 into 5 which is 1800 minus 360x is equal to. We can take this to the other side and cross multiply with 1. So is equal to x square plus 5x. 
this 360x and minus 360x cancel so now we have x square plus 5x minus 1800 is equal to 0 we have to look for factors of 1800 which should give us 5x in the middle so in this we can take it as 45x minus 40x so x square plus 45x minus 40x minus 1800 is equal to 0 taking x common from the first two terms x plus 45 minus 40 from the next two terms x plus 45 is equal to 0 so x plus 45 into x minus 40 is equal to 0 either x plus 45 is 0 which gives x as minus 45 or x minus 40 equal to 0 which gives x as 40 so definitely the speed of the train cannot be negative so we are going to take the speed as 40 km per hour if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you